Hello and welcome. This is my first video, so please bear with me. I'm hoping it'll be good. Uh, I'm hoping to do more. So if you if you like it, just leave a comment and just uh, if you don't, I like constructive criticism. So let me know what you think. It might be good. It might be bad. Anyway, this morning I'm going to be showing you Super Mario Run. Um, a lot of people don't like it, just plainly based on the fact that you have to pay seven ninety nine to unlock it. Me personally, I think it's great. I've spent a lot of time playing it. Um, I really enjoy it, and I think it's well worth the price tag. Um, so I'll get it started up, see what you think. So this is a loading screen. Just to let you know, I am playing it on a uh, iPhone 6S Plus, just in case you wanted to know. Some people would be quite interested. Right, here we go. So, this is the kingdom. Um, this is what you build. Uh, some people think it's absolutely pointless. Um, I think it's good. I think that if you're running out of toad tickets, toad rally tickets, which are in the top left corner, you need those to play online. Um, each time you race, it takes one of your toad tickets. It does cap at 99. But obviously, if you're running low, which I've got to say, I never have been running low, you can tap one of these uh, question mark boxes like that one there. And then it'll give you, oh, this one's actually giving me coins. But if you tap that one there, it'll give me some Toad Rally tickets. There you go, I've got five there. The bigger one, which I've uh, pressed, this one here, um, does offer 10. So, you know, it gives you 15 plays online, which you may or may not use. Um, so, I'll show you the fact that I've built all these tunnels and bits and bobs. Uh, and you can see all the animation of the toads uh, running around and having fun, etc. But let's get started. This is what you all want to see. We'll get onto the uh, onto the game itself. Um, what I won't do is I won't play the first few levels because they're the ones that you get to play for free anyway. Um, so I'll show you a level a bit further on. Um, we'll go for World 4. Um, I'll show you this level. This isn't one that you get free. Change the character to Mario. It's everyone's favourite character. Obviously, as you unlock more, you get to pick from different characters. Um, my personal favourite, Yoshi, just seems to have the edge over the others, but everyone has differences. So, let's get started. So, this is level 4-2. And as you can see, it's not one of the free ones, so you can see some different bits to the game. Um, that red hoop that I've just gone through, you need to uh, get that for the, obviously the star that I'm about to get, which enables me to run through any characters. It also enables me to uh, collect any coins as they just home in on me, uh, which is good. It's always worth getting the stars. There you go. It's just a one button mechanic, if you, are, if you don't know already. Um, you just tap it once for a small jump, hold it for a bigger jump um, and then obviously as you're in the air you can uh, tap the screen and it you can do different things like I'm rotating in the air there I think this is absolutely brilliant I think it's a brilliant really well polished game really good animation um, it's a shame that I haven't worked out yet how to record and let you hear the sound because the sound um, to be honest it's got that retro feel but it's just a little bit more upbeat so it's really really good um, there we go so that's that's one of the, the later levels I'll show you uh, the next level from there as well and then we'll uh, go on to show you the toad rally which is where the replayability is in it definitely One other thing that's worth mentioning, that pink coin up there, you need to collect five of those to complete the level properly. And then obviously once you've collected uh, those five coins, you have to do the level again and collect some, I don't know if they're green or they're uh, purple. I think it's purple next and then it's green um, in order to complete the game properly. I have started doing that. It is very difficult as you get to the green coins on some of the levels um, and I find it quite difficult. But it does add a, a good bit of replayability to it. 
um, collecting those coins and trying not to get frustrated about it. Here we go. Just worth noting as well, there's the bubble at the top. I'll tap that. And as you can see, it makes me rewind my gameplay, which is great for the games where, uh, for the levels where you need to collect the coins. If you miss the coin, you can obviously rewind and then hopefully uh, get the coin that you missed um, in some circumstances. No, I'm not doing too bad here. I ain't died yet. That's good. There we go. So that's the end of the level. Score an eight on the flag, not too bad. So that's that. I'll show you now the Toad Rally, <clears throat> which the whole point of the Toad Rally is to collect coins. Um, when you collect the coins, you're competing against one of the characters that I can pick here. Um, we'll go for Mitcha Mitcha. Um, see if we can beat him. So as you can see, it's taken one of my Toad Rally tickets to play, um, and here we go. So different levels give you um, different Toads, which obviously you're collecting for your kingdom in order to expand it and build different things. Collecting the uh, the coins on this doesn't give you any extra features other than it gives you a blue star. Um, obviously, you need the blue star to uh, collect more coins which is obviously the object of the game on Toad Rally. And there you go. Collected a few coins there. My opponent is playing as Yoshi. As I say, he's probably my favourite character. I think he's got the uh, the best features. Getting to the flag first gets you an extra 10 coins, so that's always beneficial. It means you can't really hang around and hope that they just keep killing themselves. Here we go. I've got another blue star. Just get a few more coins. You never know, I might I might win this. But we'll see. I'm just about to run out of time. Can we get them ones? Yeah, we just got them just in time. There we go. So that's the end of the battle. As you can see, you only battle until the time runs out at the top. And then now we do the uh, the coin counting. You can press the button to speed it up or the button in the top right to uh, to skip it. And as you can see, there's a lot of um, thumbs up. Well, they add to your coins at the end because if you do different tricks and stuff, you get extra coins. Oh, it looks like I might have won this one. We'll see how many they get extra from the thumbs up. 315, which I'm still, still in the lead. And then I win with a fancy 466. So that's the Toad Rally. I've collected the extra red toads from that. As you can see, they're the toads that I've got at the moment. The more you collect, the, the bigger your uh, kingdom can be. You can add the extra bits. As I say, some people think it's completely pointless, but whether they do more with it in the future, in future downloadable updates, who knows. Uh, I can change my opponent now, or I'll go back to the kingdom. If I'd have lost, you actually have the ability to uh, replay it uh, using another toad ticket and uh, hopefully do it. Now it's telling me that I've done my daily Toad Rally today. Um, so that's it really for the Mario game. Um, leave your comments in the comments section, see what you think. I personally think it's an absolutely fantastic game. I think it's well worth seven ninety nine dollars um, as an unlockable. Uh, I suppose the controversy at the moment is the fact that Apple are putting the prices up in the UK, Turkey and uh, I believe it's India. Um, due to rising costs of living uh, and, and obviously the Brexit in the UK. Um, so is it worth nine ninety nine? Yeah, I still think it's worth nine ninety nine. I think that's probably the cap for it, though. I, d I don't think it'd be worth any more than that. Um, I think it's a great. I think it's a great game with lots of character, um, lots of replayability, and um, with the Toad Rally, the fact that you can play people's online ghosts. I think it just adds that little bit more depth to it in order to keep you occupied for those uh, bus trips or train trips or, in my case, my breaks at work. Um, so this is my first video. Bear with me. Hopefully it was good enough and give you an insight to what you want to know. If not, let me know. I like constructive criticism. If you liked it, also let me know and then uh, I can use that, bring it forward for my next games video. Thank you very much.